What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so it has been a while. Better quality, everything else. Gattaca. Anywho, in our last episode, yes, we finally defeated the Elite Four. We became the Kalos League champion. We defeated, um, AZ. Yeah? Reunited him with his Pokemon. We kind of had like a Star Wars-esque uh, kind of a uh, ceremony right here, and uh, now we're back to complete this uh, end game right here. Knock knock, you know, not end game, but just you guys know what I'm talking about. So after defeating the Elite Four, this is exactly what happens. Mama is wondering what's going on. She's cooking up something. She's like, Draven, I saw the parade on TV. Professor Sycamore went all out trying to get everyone to show up for you, you know. That reminds me. I received a message from Professor Sycamore. He says he wants to meet you at the Lumioi Station. Do you know where that is? If you don't, it's just quick. Uh, it's just a quick cab ride away. I wonder what he wants to meet you now, or what he wants to meet you now. Though he, he should have just talked to you in the parade. Probably. Okay, so that's that. We have to go to Professor Sycamore, and then uh, once you step outside the the house, this is what happens. One of your girlfriends is waiting for you. Sensei, that parade was so great. Um, I have something to ask. I want to ask you. Do you mind? No, baby. No, I don't. I want you to trade, or I want to trade you a Pokemon with you, po uh, Sensei. Really? They'll be like friendship, bla uh, friendship bracelets, but Pokemon. I'll give you this Finnekin. I found it in an egg. You can give me any Pokemon you want. Sure, <laughs> let's go right ahead and get some Pokemon right here. Good, A good trade. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, did I just press? Okay. Yes, okay. I didn't mean to press B. Holy crud. Anywho. Yes, we're going to be trading a starter poke Or we're going to be trading for a starter Pokemon right here. Now, as you guys already noticed, I've been capturing doubles, triples of the same Pokemon in uh, Kalos. Because some of them I want to send to Sword and Shield. Some of them I want to kind of just, you know, train up and uh, complete this Pokedex right here. So what Pokemon should I send to my girlfriend? Um, I could send her... I could send her Xerneas. I mean, that is a... That is a a, a, a... a useful gesture right there, but... That is too rare of Pokemon, and I do not have any other Pokemon to, to spare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send her something that, you know, something nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What can we send our girlfriend here? Jeebus. Okay, so... Never mind. I'm actually gonna be sending her this. Okay, so since I've already gotten myself a a, a, a what you call a Lucario, I might as well send my girlfriend a Riolu because it's a pretty good Pokemon. Don't really care which, but well, actually, you know, I'm gonna give her this one because it's careful and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and give her Riolu. All right, baby, give me that Pokemon. So here it is. We are trading. Um, I guess for like the third, second, third time. I don't even know. Oh, look at that. And here comes that Finnegan. Now remember, it depends on what starter Pokemon you have. She usually chooses the one weakest to your Pokemon. So if you chose a Finnegan, she'll actually give you, uh, whatchamacallit, like grass type Pokemon, a chestnut. Or I don't even know. It's been a while, guys. It has been a while. So there it is. Our love Pokemon has been sent. Your Pokemon is really special to me, Sensei. Of course, each and every Pokemon is special too. Alrighty. Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on right here. So now it is time for us to move on uh, to, uh, to from this adventure. And what we need to do is we actually need to go straight to Lumioi City. But before we do that, there is something else that uh, happens after you defeat the Elite Four. Here we are in Akakor Town. Nothing happens here. There's really nothing that you can do. Sorry about the lagginess. But there is one thing. One thing that appears after... You know, you defeat the Elite Four. It doesn't matter where you go, guys. It appears. I'm just trying to go right here. And, uh, no, it is, uh... Well, it is not a, uh, fledgling. It really isn't a fledgling. Hold on just a sec. I'm trying to find this Pokemon right here, guys. What's up, Goku? How you doing? Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go to a grass... And nothing. Okay, so uh, eventually I'll run into it somehow. But I can actually fly. I, I can actually fly and uh, do something else right here. So uh, let's go ahead and run away. I do not need to go into the uh, into the uh, Lumioi Forest or what was it called? Santaloon Forest or something like that. So let's go right ahead and use Fly from Godzilla number three right here. Now I completely forgot how my Pokemon are. You know, it's been a, a few months since I've actually played it. 
Especially here in Axe. I've been taking my time with other walkthroughs and all that stuff. This is actually the first one coming back from a nice break. And again, I'm sorry about the lagginess. But we're going to take, take care of that right here on the uh, in the internet. So here we are in Lumioi City. We have to go to the Lumioi Station. And... Well, I think it's right over there, so let's go ahead and use our skates just to get to uh, Homeboy right here. And of course, laggy, laggy, laggy. So is this the place right here, or do I need a cat? Hold on. Nope, I don't need a go-go. Uh, let's see, is it right here? Could be wrong. Nope, it's the wrong place. So I probably need a cab or something, I don't even know. Okay, so let's go back. And of course there is a cafe around here that can actually... Uh, well, there, there is a cafe here for a, a good specific reason. Is this the place right here? God, God. Good God. Nope, this is not the place. So, I'm going to have to use a... Yeah, I'm going to have to use a cab for this one right here. Oh, God. Okay, so, uh, let's see. The Lumi Cab. Where are you the mood for this transportation? Where are we headed? Um, the Lumioi Station. There you are. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty. The Lumioi Station... There it is, and wow, 4,200, good God. Okay, so here we are in the Lumioi Station. Wow, needed a burp right there, and uh, here we go, stop right there. Would you look at that? <laughs> sorry, sorry. We always seem to be surprising you, don't we? We're just here to give you something the professor forgot about last time. Central Kalos, Coastal Kalos, Mountain Kalos, there are more Pokemon in Kalos than you've, you'll find in the, these three Pokedexes. Did you know that? That's basically what we're about to, or what we're here about. We'll power up your Pokedex for you, and here we have the National Dex. Yes, sir, the National Dex. And you'd better keep treasuring the time you get with your Pokemon now, from now on. Got it? The precious time that you fought for. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so there is Professor Sycamore. Let's see what this homeboy has to say. How did you like your parade, Draven? So, the reason I asked you to come here is... I wanted to give you a pass to Kiludi uh, City. I can't even pronounce that right. Kiludi City. And does it, it does it ring any bells? Nope. Kiludi City is a city in the southern part of like, the Kalos region. And it's the perfect place for trainers looking for to sharpen their skills. So here's a pass for the super high speed rail to Kalud City. Kaludi. So here it is, the TMV pass. Yes, sir. Use uh, use it to ride the TMV Super High Speed Rail. Take your pass to that scanner over there. It's uh, the orange machine. Have the, the machine scan your pass to board the train. Have a fantastic time. All right, whatever you say, homeboy. Alrighty, so I guess that's where we're gonna be going to first. So we're gonna be scanning our thing. Yes, we're gonna be going into a train, and uh, we're gonna be doing some things like visiting people, getting to know people. And is this moving? Holy crap, that was, a, that was a nice tune. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So we're going uh, super high speed, and here we are in Kalud Town. Or station. Kalud St is it Kalude or Kalud? Please comment down below, guys. Okay, so let's see. What happens if I talk to these people? Let's see. You have a Pokedex, right? I'll give you a Pokemon quiz. What is the sticky stuff that Swirlix expels to stop its opponent movement? Uh, saliva. Damn it! Never mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk away because I, I you know, it's been a while. So here we are in Kalud City. You wouldn't happen to be driving, would you? I saw you in the parade. That's right. I knew it. You're everything I'd expect someone who holds the honor of Kalos to be. I'm so grateful to uh, to you for stopping Team Flare. Please take this small token of my appreciation. And we get ourselves a VS recorder. That is awesome. Use the VS Recorder to record battle videos of battles with friends or battles in special facilities. What's more, if you connect the internet, you can upload your battle videos. You can also search battle videos that other have or others have uploaded by entry day code. Yeah, that is not going to happen because I'm not really good on the competitive scene. Really am not. Okay, so let's see let's see where we're, where the heck we are. Um, um actually you know what? I think I already know where we're at. So Let's go right ahead and uh, start visiting some people right here. There's some items. We're gonna get some items. Get to talk to some people. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a really, or I am, I'm really a superstar. But look at, uh, uh, but this look of mine, it needs some pizzazz. Um, no shrinking violet. Maybe if I try to pedal Blizzard or something. Hmm. Kind of a 
maybe you should. I don't know, but good old Draven likes crazy chicks too, you know that? You know. Good old Draven used to have a uh, goth face. Like in seventh grade, probably. Yeah. Seventh grade was the day. So here we are in the Pokemon Center, or we're here at the Pokemon Center and all that stuff. Yes, of course. You gotta love the lagginess, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, start walking by, looking at everything right here. Yes, we are in the Pokemon Center, and good gravy, this lagginess is just ridiculous. Okay, come on. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna kill all my Pokemon first before I uh, disconnect right here and reconnect and all that stuff, guys. I really do apologize. Really, really do apologize. The quality right here is just BS. Okay. So there we are. Please excuse me for just a bit, guys. Actually, hold on. He just went up. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. If you talk to this guy, you can call me a judge. <laughs> That's not actually my real name, but it's what everybody calls me. Yeah, let's see. It's because I have a weird power I have. It's a gift, really. I can discern or judge, you may say, the overall potential of an individual Pokemon. How about it? Let me judge intriguing potential of your Pokemon. So this guy basically, um, well, he basically just uh, checks out your IVs, EVs of your Pokemon and all that stuff for those who like competitive battles and all that. And this guy right here is like, this Pokemon has a relatively superior potential overall. That's how I judge it anyway. Incidentally, I would say its greatest potential lies in its speed stat. Sets like those, they simply can't be beat. That's how I judge it. Oh, well, okay. Alright, whatever you say, oh boy. Alright, so let's see. Is there anybody else here that gives me items? Because, you know, we all like free stuff. And, uh, Battle Mason. Yes, there is a Battle Mason right here. Or mansion, or whatever is it called. And the Friend Safari is here as well. And, that, of course, a play, that is a place to actually capture some Pokemon that, you know, your friends have uh, left by. So, let us move on right here and visit some houses, get some free stuff, get us acquainted with this whole place right here. So, Lexi, talk to this lady. Tonight, I'll put uh, all my skill into cooking cin uh, Cinnabarian uh, hamburger steak. Cinnabarian, I can't even say that right. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How's the progress of your Pokedex? You want to use the Poke Radar that you can get from Professor, or from Professor Sycamore's lab. The Poke Radar. I wonder what that could mean. And if you talk to this person, take this flash cannon. So here we are, guys. We get ourselves the TM91 flash cannon. And it's a pretty damn good move for, I believe, uh, no, uh, for steel type Pokemon. Again, guys, it's uh, been like a week or two since I've played some games because busy. Super busy. Good old Draven got busier again. And uh, look at that. We got ourselves a nugget. Definitely something that we need to uh, get more money off of. And, uh, well, let's see. This right here happens to be the Battle Maison, run by Fabulous Sisters, by four Fabulous Sisters. Now this place right here, you can actually battle trainers, earn yourself BPs or, you know, some kind of like money and all that stuff to get better moves, better items and all that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be battling people right there because, you know, in Pokemon X and Y, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do in the after game. They really, yeah, I kind of feel like they kind of like, uh... They kind of let the ball drop on this one right here. So, let's see. Talk to this guy. Excuse me. Got a minute. You look like you know a lot about Pokemon. Could you use your knowledge to help me out? Sure. Hey, thanks. Here's what I'm wondering about. Usually ground type moves can't hit a Pokemon with the Levitate ability. But I'm sure there's some way to do it. I just can't uh, for the life of me figure, how to figure it out. I have several ideas, but I can't decide which one to try. That's why I want your opinion on the matter. First, I'd like some advice about items. See, I want to use Trick or Switch Root to give an item to a Pokemon that has Levitate, or the Levitate ability, so I can hit it with the ground moves. I thought an Iron Ball might work. I'm not sure though. What do you think? Is an Iron Ball a good idea? That's fine, yeah. It actually weighs it down, right? Oh, I knew it! But hearing, hearing you say it makes me feel more, much more confident. So passing an Iron Ball to a Pokemon with Levitate means Ground-type moves can hit. Thanks! I'd like to pick your brain again. Is it okay? Sure. I'd like some, uh, or I'd like to get uh, your advice on moves. If I use a certain move on Pokemon with the Levitate ability, and then use a Ground-type move on it, I think it could work. Which move should I, uh, should I choose? Smackdown, Gravity, or Gastro Acid? Let's go with uh, Layeth the Smack-It-Down on those levitating asses. 
it will knock off a flying type Pokemon or a Pokemon with Levitate out of, uh, out of the air so ground type moves will work on it. So if I use Smackdown and then use a ground type move, yes, I get it now, thanks. I promise this is the last time, but I like the little advice about abilities. Apparently some abilities let you hit Pokemon that have Levitate with ground type moves, but I'm not sure which one to use. Mold Breaker, Terra Volt, or Turbo Blaze all seem to look uh, to be pretty uh, good choices. I'm close, but I can't decide. Help, please decide it for me. I'm assuming it's Mold Breaker because uh, Terra Volt and Turbo Blaze happen to be moves, specific moves for both Reshiram and, uh, and uh, whatchamacallit, Reshiram and... Fuck, I forgot his name, Zekrom, yeah. So Mold Breaker, let's go. Oh, so you say Mold Breaker then. Then... That's right, huh? Mold Breaker lets you use moves regardless of the uh, target's ability. Levitate won't matter, so you can land or land a hit after hit with ground type moves. Man, Mold Breaker is so cool. Viva Mold Breaker! Thanks. Because of you, I'm prepared for Levitate. And more importantly, I'm prepared for any all any and all anti-levitate tactics. <laughs> no matter which Pokemon I face, victory is assured for my levitating Pokemon. Well, do you dare battle my invincible Pokemon with the Levitate ability. Sure, let's go ahead. We kinda need a battle. We kinda need a battle and stuff. So here we go guys, we're battling this guy right here, Anton. And yeah, I really don't care what kind of Pokemon he has. I'm still gonna beat it with uh, with this guy right here. All right, Ryo, all right, Goku. Let's go right ahead and uh, not use any of those other moves. Let's go with extreme speed right here, look at that. Okay, and here comes the Shadow Ball from the Weezing and all that stuff. Hey, you guys, like, uh, well, while I'm battling this guy, let's go right ahead and talk about a few things. A few things that have actually, like, come to my attention as of lately, uh, when, when I took this, uh, quote-unquote break right here. So, uh, as many of you guys have already known from, you know, when I, when I, uh, restarted this channel right here, I started putting nicknames onto my Pokemon, and... The, the reason being is because it's just to add a little bit more flavor to the team. I kind of have names for Pokemon and all that crud. And, you know, it makes it a little more interesting for all of you guys. Well, I read somebody's comment. Did not like it. Hold me an idiot. Well, guess what, man? I'm flipping you off right here. So, the thing is, guys... The reason why I put nicknames onto my Pokemon is just to add flavor to these walkthroughs. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys actually enjoy the fact that I nicknamed these Pokemon. I don't really care. I don't really care what anybody says about, like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're just following the crowd. No, I'm just doing it because, you know what, I kind of need a change. And because of change, I've actually done pretty well for myself. I've been getting, like, countless subscribers, which is good. So, again... I do what I want right here on my channel, and if I choose to nickname my Pokemon, well, guess what? It's going to happen. Don't worry. It won't be too stupid of names and all that stuff. So if you guys like my nicknames and all that stuff, comment down below. If you guys have other nicknames for future Pokemon, comment down below too. All nicknames are welcomed, and for those who don't like the nicknames right here on this channel or on any of my videos, well, you can go fuck off. So, going back into the battle right here. Taking on Bronzong. A lot of these Pokemon are Levitate, but guess what? He doesn't know that I do have Pokemon that are stronger than his. You don't necessarily need to worry about Levitate. He needs to worry about me. So here it is. Our good old buddy, Godzilla number three. And uh, Godzilla number three getting this flamethrower. Finish him. Look at that. Bronzong destroyed. The big old bell right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And Anton has been defeated. Now, are you going to give me an item or not? And, well, let's see. I, I can prepare for anti-levitate tactics, but real battles, things never seem to go quite as smoothly as you expect. Or maybe you're just that, that good. I am pretty good, but I kind of feel bad that you didn't really give me an item, man. Kind of, uh, you know, kind of used up my time. Kind of used up my time for this kind of stuff. So, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's go upstairs. And, uh, well, there's two more houses right there. And let's see what this uh, lady has to say. The more Pokemon battles I have, the more things I want to try. And there are so many Pokemon I want to raise. I need more hours in a day. That is true. That is very, very true. There's a lot of Pokemon. Especially now that Sword and Shield has come out, it's a lot of Pokemon. Now, let's see what these people have to give. I'm a girl with a lot of friends, so I'm excited about the Safari Zone, or so Friend Safari. And, uh, well, let's see. I seriously have tons of friends. Me, myself, and I. What the hell? It's kind of stupid. 
Okay, so let's go ahead in here. Did you enjoy a meal in the restaurant, Lumioi? Don't forget that eating means you're receiving energy to live from another living being. Oh wow, we got a vegan right there. And then take the good things that the opponent does and make them your own. Eventually, they will part. Uh, they will be part of your own original style. I think that's certainly one way to get stronger. And look at that, we got ourselves the TM58 Skydrop. So yeah. Okay, so that right there. Well, yeah. There really isn't uh, anything else right here. I, yeah, there's a Pokemon right there. I really don't, I really don't mind and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and go into this house here. I think there's one more item that we need to get. Let's see. Hello, hello. How you doing? And stop moving around. The Pokemon Q room doesn't have. Doesn't anyone have it? You well, not me. I mean, did I capture it? I think I no, no, I didn't capture it. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Hmm, your our secret HP or HQ went up in flares because of you. That's right. But at least well, but well, at least Team Flare went out with style. Though that was kind of no kind of style. No, no kind of style, huh? The way we tried to save ourselves, just leaving everyone else to burn. I thought it would be over again and again. Like, uh, or like thinking was going out of style. And in the end, I think the world was pretty dull if everyone was all the same. I don't want to cramp anyone's style anymore. Well, at least he admits that he quits Team Flare and all that stuff. So, let's see, where else do we need to go to to complete this whole thing? Oh man, there's more! There's more! Oh wow! So, if you guys have noticed, this is the Friend Safari. I didn't mean to do that. This is the Friend Safari where you can actually, you know, get friends codes, you get Pokemon from them. I don't know if I'm going to be trying them pretty soon or anything like that, but, you know, trading is pretty good. And look at that. Look at that. That's nice. That's, uh, I don't even know what that is. It's just a bottle of water. And if you talk to this person, right now I'm just having the best slump. I really want to paint a boy wearing a vividly colored hat. And sneakers. I need to see a colorful outfit for inspiration. Yeah, that's not going to be me because I am pretty dull when it comes to dressing up, especially in real life. In real life? Yeah, it's all gym clothes, guys. All gym clothes. Anywho, guys, so this is pretty much it for this episode. It was just a quick run through of uh, Kilud, Kilud City. Uh, I know I said it wrong and all that stuff. In the next episode, well, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. You probably already know what's going on. And, uh, oh yeah, we're going to make it happen. So thank you guys again for another episode, watching this episode and all that stuff. I will see you guys next time.